Hi, I'm Adam Burrell, Barry and Makeup Ambassador, and I'm going to show you how to recreate the look of Miley Cyrus, which is one of my favourite looks at the moment, and it's really simple. It's all about the brow, well-applied mascara, and a lip. I evened out the skin using Flawless Matte Finish Foundation, and now I'm going to go in for the brows. So I'm just using a clean wand to brush up the brows. That way you can see exactly where you need to fill in. And then using number 11 eyeshadow, I'm going to lightly just fill in any gaps, making the brows nice and defined. And I'm just starting in the centre of the brow and brushing the product through. It's always good to start in the arch of your brow in the centre rather than the beginning so that you don't get a really harsh front. Although Miley's blonde, her brows are quite dark, making them quite a feature of her face. And I'm just filling in using little light hair strokes, using a small angled brush. will soften the edges. Now I'm going to use Lash Model and Extra Black Mascara and with this separating mascara you're going to get lashes just like Miley's that are long, defined and separated. And we're just starting at the root and working our way up to the ends of the lash. And don't forget to get right in at the corner, the outside corner and the inside corner. A good tip when doing your bottom mascara is to use a little brush and just rub it on the mascara wand and then literally just paint it on from the root. And this is a much more precise application and creates less mess. A bit more impact, I'm just going to go in with one more coat. This time focusing mostly on the root, just so they're nice and thick. I'm going to define the cheekbones now using a little bit of natural dazzle. When you're applying your bronzer, try not to overload your brush. Just start off softly at the ear and chinking out that cheekbone. And taking it up on the temples and a bit on the forehead. Now to finish for Miley's iconic red lip, I'm going to start with the lip pencil number three, just to define the edge. So the lip line is going to make sure that the lipstick stays within your lip lines and I'm going to colour in the whole lip and this makes your lipstick much more long wearing. And now I'm going to use the little mix and lip paint with a brush for precise application and I'm going to paint that on. And that's your finished Miley Cyrus look.